Now let's join our correspondent, Joseph Otsen, to give us an update on day four of the nationwide protest. Uh, Joseph, if you can still remember yesterday, initially you told us uh, that um, the place was peaceful and uh, you were seeing trickles of uh, protesters. But, you know, initially, initially it was peaceful, but later on, you equally reported to us that uh, the police had to use uh, tear gas to disperse the crowd. What exactly is uh, the state at this moment? All right, Jide, just as we heard from the president broadcast there, that he wants the security men to maintain law and order, peace in the country. The Bushwood Abiola Stadium today, that's day four of the protest, is heavily guided. I drove inside, uh, the inside the stadium, there are a lot of uh, security personnel there, and then outside too, there are security, not less than, uh, behind me there, just not less than six uh, trucks of uh, security uh, vans and then who brought security here, some of them are strategically positioned and so on. Um, before, just some few minutes before you joined me, um, there is a joint uh, security team that just drove off not less than 15 trucks of uh, 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 vehicles with loaded with uh, security personnel uh, there. I spoke with the Deputy uh, Commissioner of Police uh, Operations FCT. He is leading that particular team. I interviewed him yesterday and today too when I had a conversation with him he said that, that they will not be allowing the kind of gathering that uh, uh, were gathered here yesterday. And what was the, the, the nature of the, uh, the, 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 the gathering yesterday? Most of them were younger, uh, younger between the age of 30 downwards and then uh, you could sense between them they were very agitative. They were very agitative. Yesterday when he was addressing them, some of them were advancing towards him and they made efforts to calm them down. They, some of, they, they just didn't go, couldn't go back. At a point they were asked to move back, but they refused. So you could just imagine that, uh, advancing towards a police commissioner who is heavily uh, uh, guided by other security personnel who are is a subordinate, they, the, what you say to him will matter to them, and so on. So that was when the situation now changed. The peaceful protest uh, was going on here changed. They had to like uh, push the, the, those youths back, disperse them, and so on. But the, the, the past two days, the first day and the second day was actually peaceful. We had more matured uh, protesters who came out, and they were equally interacting. There were some giving. Uh, uh, joking with the security personnel, but this crowd that we had here yesterday was different. Young ones who were very agitated and very confrontational, and the security personnel said they will not be taking that today. To, uh, you can see the, the heavily uh, armed policemen were patrolling the, the uh, DCP uh, operations, told me that they are patrolling the town. I asked him what are their uh, situations in the town, and he told me, no, for now they have not sent uh, any form of guarding. They have not had any security report about a guarding outside out there. And he said they equally have security. The hoodlums are planning to take over this protest. They want situation. And he was advising the youth to say, look, they shouldn't be used by these hoodlums to cause mayhem. Some of the persons that could be affected may end up being even their own parents. And but for now, uh, right now, it's clear, no protesters are here. Can't see anyone, just a few uh, journalists too. Uh, you can see uh, we here, NTA, and then I can see uh, one or two uh, media houses so, so here. All right, uh, many thanks, uh, Joseph. Just before I let you go, uh, do you think uh, with uh, what is on ground there, it is a result of uh, the president's uh, broadcast this morning? No, no, no. I don't think it's because of the president brokers. It is, it is what happened yesterday. The group that came here yesterday were very, very agitated. Very, very agitated. And the police had to disperse them. So they, they probably they don't know what their plans will be for today. And so on. But the, uh, security, you know, they have, to be, uh, uh, they have to be ready. They have to be ready. They won't be taken off guard. Uh, many thanks, uh, correspondent Joseph Woodson, there, keeping us up to speed with events happening around the Mashud, uh, Mashud Abiola National Stadium. We we'll, would uh, equally get back to you so that you know you keep on uh, keeping us abreast of happenings from that place. Many thanks.
Thank you.